only 5 p.m. really, but it's already quite dark here in Norway. But life goes on, mostly in coffee shops these days. I didn't really plan on making this coding vlog yet, but I had this crazy idea that I just couldn't get out of my mind since yesterday. And so I decided to try and hack something together today after work. Um, it's been quite a busy day and week in general at work, and I'm gonna tell you more about that in the next vlog actually, but right now I'm just gonna get ready and do some creative coding. So you know how in one of the recent vlogs I added this new feature to one menu, um, the window manager that I'm working on, that allows you to kind of snap a window into any available space on the screen. It basically tries to expand outwards from the mouse position, and I was doing some final testing and reviewing the code yesterday, and something occurred to me. Hear me out. What if, when I resize a window, instead of looking at that window, I look at all the other windows and I ask them to fill the remaining available space, starting from their centers, as I masterfully try to illustrate here with these red crosses. This would make the windows behave in a sort of a sticky way, and allow you to effectively resize multiple windows at the same time. This seemed like such an easy thing to implement, like a very low-hanging fruit, given that I already have that little algorithm that fills available space starting from a given point. So all day today I was sort of thinking about it and getting excited. So I opened up the code base and I started poking around. But man, since I cleaned up this code base, new features are so much easier to add. Like who would have thought? At work right now, we also have this constant debate to refactor or not to refactor. And 90% of the time, there is no time. But man, does it pay off. Oh, and as I'm working here, I want to tell you one more funny story from work. Some time ago, my manager and I were interviewing this guy for a back-end position. And we're sitting there in a Zoom meeting, and one of the first questions we always like to ask is, how have you heard of Kahoot? Have you ever played it? Do you have any impressions of it? And this candidate is like, well, I never really played Kahoot myself, but I watch your vlogs. You should have seen the look on my manager's face. It was gold. I really should charge my company for providing good leads for hiring, man. These recruiters, they make good money when they refer a person like that. But maybe that's a conversation for another day. Anyway, I got this thing to build and it was kind of trying to do something, but it was looking all funky. As if it was snapping to the space that was available in the past, not the one that we have right now. And after looking at this some more, I realized I was passing the wrong variable into the function. But all is good, after building one more time, things actually started working, man. And also because of the way it worked, it would snap a window that wasn't really adjacent. And I'm not sure if I want to call this a bug or a feature yet. But let me know what you think, let me know in the comments. It only really took me 45 minutes to make this work, but I'm gonna get going home and I have one more thing I wanna try before I wrap this up and release it for you guys. Spoiler alert, if you're watching this, the new version is out already. This whole window manager, by the way, is free, so you can download it on my website. And thanks to Squarespace, I've been able to host it easily and without much work at all. I prefer to have this simple way to update my documentation, upload the new screenshots, and not really wrestle with CSS if I don't have to. Besides, I get free analytics without any cookies, and that's really great because there are no ugly consent dialogues on my website. Also, while you're there, check out my free wallpaper packs, and if you're looking to host a website for one of your projects, check out Squarespace, because they make it very easy to get started with all the templates that are all included, and if you use my link, you can save 10% off, so check it out. <laughs> Look, it was a long day, I will say that in my defense. But man, when I'm hungry, I lose so much focus. Like I first spill the oats, then I spill the milk. But regardless, the humble oatmeal remains to be the true staple of my diet. Oh, 
Alright, the thing I actually wanted to see is whether I can make the windows resize in real time as you're dragging the mouse. I spent some time on the commute thinking about it and it didn't really seem all that difficult. So I tried hacking it together with the functions I already have and apparently everything worked entirely as expected. Looking a bit closer, I think part of the issue is some kind of a race condition which is causing all the flickering, but honestly I was more worried about the incorrect size calculation to start with. Naturally the issue was with Apple's crazy coordinate systems again, of which I get reminded whenever I test one menu on external displays. But while fixing it I messed something else up and now one of the windows was being sticky while the other one wasn't. And this was even more strange, so I spent some time fixing this stuff as best as I could, which is not really all that great to be honest, but after employing some trusty print statements and fixing the coordinates yet again, I think I finally had a stable version. And this did make me happy. So that will be all for today guys, I'm pushing this out now, and if you enjoyed the vlog make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.